one. Right now, though, Wally Buono is hoping this man can get the Calgary offense rolling. Well, Doug Flutie's coming out, and Calgary has a new look this year, Don. Last year, they donned the black stripes on the helmet. This year, they're going without the stripes, you know, coming out with something different, and hopefully they can have a better year. That's what they're looking for, even though they're 0-1 to start the season, hoping to get off to a better start in this game. For the last team in the CFL to open at home next Saturday against Winnipeg. Here comes Tony Stewart, and Stewart gets to the outside for a first down. Surprisingly, the success both teams noted for their passing skills have had moving the football is along the ground. Well, you know, you look at the running game thus far. Great job of seal blocking by Bruce Covington, getting Blair Zur out around the corner, getting that lead block on the middle linebacker fields, and Stewart turning it up for a gain of 16. Excellent run maneuvers by this Calgary offensive line so far. A gain of 16 yards for Stewart. Flutie's in trouble, but he has the scrambling ability to escape and also run with the football, and he is going to get a first down and more as he takes it out of bounds at the Baltimore 40. As only the magic man can do. Gerald Bayless was putting tremendous pressure on Doug Flutie, but he's so savvy when he's sitting back in the pocket, it's just hard to contain him. A 17-yard gallop for Doug Flutie. Gerald Bayless, along with the other man up front, trying to put some pressure on Doug Flutie, well, Bayless was working against Crysdale. Crysdale pushed him to the outside, but he's able to close the pocket. Flutie felt the pressure, stepped up, stepped back out of it, got to the corner, gained 17 to put Calgary's offense in great field position, and we have a Blade flag game. on the field. Dress code by on Calgary number 18. 10-yard penalty in front. Now there's a delay of game penalty, a dress code violation on Allen Pitts. I'm not quite sure what the problem is. I think Allen's towel was too long and the official made him tuck it in, but he has to leave the game for one play to make an adjustment in his clothing. I mean, it, I, I didn't really notice anything strange. Well, he also has white tape around his waist and he has the red separation, so that could be the call. It's going to be interesting to see if we can get a camera to watch what occurs with his clothing on the sideline. Coach Bono is kind of upset. He said, hey, let the guys play the game. That's what everyone came here for. So Vince Danielson comes into the ball game to take the slot back position previously occupied by Alan Pitts. First and 10 from the 50 yard line. Pass over the middle to Stewart, and Stewart struggles inside the 40. Stopped there by Matt Goodwin. Well, Tony Stewart is stepping up now. He left the game last week in the third quarter in Saskatchewan, and they felt when he left, it really killed their offense. And you see him stepping up to the plate here.